In a quiet village, there lived a wise Zen master named Master Hushin. He had a devoted disciple named Kenji, who had been learning under him for many years. One day, another disciple named Riku joined them. Riku was eager and quick to learn, and soon he was grasping lessons much faster than Kenji. As time passed, Kenji began to feel neglected. He noticed that Master Hashin spent more time teaching Riku, and he felt a pang of jealousy. One day, unable to hold back his feelings any longer, Kenji approached his master. Master, he said, I have been studying with you for a long time, even before Riku came, yet you teach him more than me. Why is that? Master Hashin listened quietly for a moment. Then he replied, First, let me tell you a story. Curious, Kenji agreed to listen. Once, there was a traveler walking through a hot, sunny afternoon. He was very thirsty but had no water. After a while, he came across a well. However, he found that there was no bucket or rope to draw water from it. Disappointed, he left without drinking. Later, another traveler came by. He was also thirsty and approached the same well. Like the first traveler, he saw there was no bucket or rope, but instead of giving up, he looked around and found a bucket lying nearby. Then he searched for something to use as a rope. He noticed some long grass growing nearby and began to pull it up to make a rope. After some effort, he had a long enough rope to draw water from the well. He quenched his thirst and continued on his journey. Master Hushin paused and asked, Now, tell me which traveler was more thirsty. Kenji thought for a moment and replied, the second traveler was more thirsty. That's why he worked hard to get the water. Master Hushin nodded with a smile. You are correct. The second traveler's thirst drove him to take action. This is the same with Riku. His thirst for knowledge is greater than yours right now, which is why he works harder to learn. Kenji understood. He realized that he had become complacent and had not been putting in the same effort as Riku. From that day on, Kenji decided to change his approach. He began to study harder, ask more questions, and seek knowledge wherever he could find it. As time passed, Kenji's thirst for learning grew. He discovered that learning was not just about gaining knowledge, it was about growing as a person. He learned from his master, from Riku and even from the world around him. Master Hashin watched Kenji's transformation with pride. He knew that the journey of learning is never-ending. It is a path that brings joy, curiosity, and a sense of purpose. In life, we all have the opportunity to be like the second traveler. We can choose to quench our thirst for knowledge, no matter how much we already know. The desire to learn is what keeps us moving forward and helps us grow. So remember, whether you are a student or someone who has already found success, never stop learning. The world is full of lessons waiting to be discovered. And as long as you keep your thirst for knowledge alive, your journey will always be exciting and fulfilling.